Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Part of the Interruption. I'm your host, Jason Tambori. I'm here with my co-hosts, Brad Romano and Carter LaCourt. And today, we have an interesting topic on our hands. So today, we're going to be talking about the NFL offseason, the free agency, and what do you guys think that the best free agency uh, acquiring was for any of the teams? So Brad, why don't you start us off? What do you think is the best offseason acquire so far? There's been a lot of big moves, but I think it's easily Darren Wall to the Giants. You look at this Giants team last year, they had absolutely no weapons outside of Saquon. Isaiah Hodgins, Richie James Jr., Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, Davis Sills, no wide receivers. Tight end was a rookie, Daniel Bellinger. Now they bring a top three tight end in, Darren Waller, who has proven to be a great receiving threat and decent in the block game. He can be a great asset for Daniel Jones to help the Giants get to that next level and be a serious contender. That's a great idea. But, I mean, Brad, you want Darren Waller as your top pick? He's an injury-prone tight end who's had, what, two, maybe even one good season? Giants offense can't be fixed by one player alone. Easily for me, best offseason move, Falcons, Sprain, and Jesse Bates. I know it's expensive. They gave him $64 million over four years, and we don't like to pay safeties normally, but Bates is a special player. He brings so much to that Falcons defense, and we saw it in Cincinnati as a game changer, and it's going to improve uh, defense that was one of the worst units in the league last year. Well, you say injuries are a big problem for Darren Waller, but I look at a guy like Saquon Barkley who was dealt with so many injuries for multiple seasons, and he's came back, and he's proven that he's still that very talented person. I think Darren Waller can do the same. Yeah, Darren Waller has had some injuries, but when Darren Waller is healthy, we know what he's capable of. We know that he could be that big receiving threat that can get yards after the catch for Daniel Jones. We know that he could be that number one target for Daniel Jones. And you say Jesse Bates of the Falcons, but like you said, paying safeties is not a great idea. We've seen how it is in the past, and that Falcons secondary still needs a lot of work. I don't don't think their secondary is as good as people think you know AJ Terrell is decent but Jeff Okuda is very overrated in my opinion and I don't see how Jesse Bates is going to be a very huge factor in the Atlanta Falcons Brad you were talking about the past and paying safeties let's talk about the past and how injuries affect guys you mentioned Saquon as the guy who came back I could mention an infinite amount of names of guys who got hurt and were not the same afterwards also you're comparing a once in a lifetime running back who was able to go second overall that just doesn't happen to a tight end who was a converted receiver and didn't even become a good player until he was older. Th these guys are not comparable at all. And for Bates, I mean, we saw the Bengals defense the last few years was one of the best in the league, and that was all because of him. That's why they made it to the Super Bowl. And they're not going to be the same without him, and you're going to see that developing with them. And Falcons, probably one move in Bates isn't going to be enough to make them an elite team. They still have plenty of problems. But this is the first start, and they're going to have him for four years. And that's going to be a big difference by the time that contract's up. All right, guys. So final words. Let's hear your final remarks, both from each of you. Well, I see your points, but I think Darren Waller can stay healthy. I think after these injuries, he can stay healthy, be a very valuable asset to a Giants offense. You know, and he, let's say Darren Waller does get hurt. They got second-year tight end Daniel Bellinger. A great duo of Darren Waller and Daniel Bellinger can help them, plus new receiving threats. But overall, I think Darren Waller will improve massively for Daniel Jones. I think the Giants are going to be a great team moving forward, and the Darren Waller signing is a big play in that. Carter? I mean, I think if you double-team Darren Waller, not much receiving options. For Paris Darren Campbell. Still. Paris Campbell is not. Paris Campbell, Isaiah Hodges. Not. All right. Isaiah Hodges Those are not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. My name is Jason Tambori with my co-hosts, Brad Romano and Carla LaCourt, and we will see you all next time.